Hi everyone, it's Nat here. Hope you're doing okay. Now, we have a challenge in our Paper Possibilities Crazy Crafters Facebook group. The lovely Cell from the Purple Outhouse um, put up a challenge to use black and white. Only black and white. I knew I had some wallpaper that was black and white, but I'd have to hunt that out. So I was harvesting books as usual last night and I was harvesting some art magazines that I had laying around. And it had this subscription piece in it. And it is black and white. And I thought, that's it. I'm going to use that. Easy. Done. So I thought, let's make something out of that for this challenge. So firstly, it needs a bit of cutting down. So I'm going to take this rough edge off first. So maybe to there. I like it with the black edge, I think. A bit of white on there. Just trim that off. Looks better. So now we'll have to cut this bit down or put something there. I've got washi tape that I could put there too, but that's all right. I just cut it down to match. Put that up there. If you hear any weird noises, it's my son playing games with his friends as usual. It's surprised that the neighbours haven't called the police because they've thought someone was murdering someone with the noises he comes out with. All right. Now we're going to want to tuck that up. So we're going to cut. This has perforations down here already, so I might just roll with that and remove this back bit to there. piece we will fold up so I might just give that a bit of a score oh. <laughs> I went to grab a ruler but it's an extra long ruler and I didn't realize and it bumped on everything in the way clumsy as usual so I'm just scoring that a bit so that'll fold up like that luckily it has the black and white on the other side as well Try and get that somewhat straight. It's not too bad. Right, so that gives us a tuck spot there and we can slip something in this side too if we like. Or down there. Decisions. shorter so if we put it on a page we can slip something down behind it anyway or that way maybe we will make it a tag holder in the top here but it is a bit long for my liking so I'm going to chop that down a bit which I should do with my cutter because I cut really crooked these scissors are not the ones I usually use either. That'll do. All right, so what am I thinking? Tag in the top there. And when we stick it down, we can slip something behind it. That will do. Now, do I want to sew around it? I do want to cut this a bit straighter. So we will do a thumb notch in the top here. Use that line as a guide. Now there is text behind it, so I'm debating whether I put 
that with some washi tape behind it. I kind of like it with that little bit stuck back in there. So I might do that. Now I'll try and get this in there straight before it dries. And then I've got to lift up this bit so it doesn't stick down. That'll do. Yep. Now we're going to have to stick this side down. And then stick our pocket down. Then we have to figure out what we're going to slip in and other decorations if we so feel like. So we've got to stick the bottom as well. So let's put that there. Run some glue just down this side. Come on, glue. Almost looks like a loot bag, doesn't it? So the back's got that on it, but that's okay because we can stick that to the page and make it a tuck spot and make a tag for in there and a little card or something that can fit in there as well. So we should stick these sides up. I'm just debating whether I want to corner around or anything. Do it because I can. Do we corner around here? Don't know. I'm just going to do it because I can. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's a bit dark and dreary. Had a bit of rain the last couple of days, which is great because I do need to weed the garden. So, well, it's a bit wet, I can fix the inside of the house and then a couple of days we might have some nice weather and I can get out and get the yard done. Okay, so that's the basis of my black and white pocket. Keeping these bits to do something with too, I quite like them. Got some more here as well that I can use on the tag if I want to. So tag wise, yeah, we've got to keep it to the black and white again. These look black. And I think they're the same size, yeah, they're the big ones. Probably should have thought of this before I stuck everything together, but you know what it's like. When do we ever think practically? And we'll see what we can do. I sorry about that. I should have said, when do I ever think practically? <laughs> I'll get hate mail. <laughs> so this can be hard to see because I've got to do it that way now. Hold that open, get my little thingamajiggy in there. Oh, crikeys. Nice to do a video where I don't fumble one day. I reckon I want it. Yeah, there's the hole. That's not too bad. Just adds another element to it. Now getting that in might be fun to turn those around. So yes, I was going through, oh, I don't know. I would hate to say how many magazines last night I had 
uh, two boxes that were full of them and then I'd started throwing them on top of the boxes so the boxes were like double height. <laughs> so I was going through all of them last night trying to whittle them right down. Had to keep all my paper craft magazines intact but yeah I went through and my gardening ones I'll pull them apart some other time but there were some random art ones and that which I didn't need to keep all of them so just took out the bits I wanted. Yeah, glad that worked. Wouldn't like to do it again. So I've got a little island in there. So we're gonna, we, I was gonna say we'll, we'll have to make a dangle now, but we don't have to. I just like the eyelets as they are as well, but I probably will make a little dangle or something to go with that. Now, still gotta do our tags and that. So I think we need white. So I might grab some white cardstock. See if I've got some in my scraps. Well, that was funny. Let's <laughs> see if I've got some in my scraps. Do I have some? Of course I do. I have little packs and big packs. So is that cardstock? I think that's that's photo mat. This is some sort of cardstock. I might use this. Must drag this out and do a big embellishment, embellishment making session sometime. That's what I've been saving it all for. So I'm thinking... I've still got to do something in that top part. Maybe we'll do both the parts that we're going to put in there out of this white cardstock. And then add black to it if we feel the need. So, let me just measure. Oh, seriously, I've got to sort out all my tools again. They're confusing me. Because all my rulers are a little bit different and I like certain ones for certain things. I wish I could find one that I liked for all of it. So, we're looking at... Maybe we'll make it one, two... Two and a half would fit nicely. So two and a half inches wide. So I'll cut two that are two and a half inches wide. in my scrappy bag. So then we're going to want one piece that goes in here. So that's going to fit just nicely by the looks. So I'm just thinking whether I want it sort of flush or whether I want it up above a bit. Let's just do whatever. Effort level today is whatever. And of course, these bits go back into my scrappy cardstock bin. So, this will be a tag that goes in there. That'll work. And then we want to figure out how big we want the one that fits in there. Now, what I might do is I feel like embossing them. So I will grab my big shot and I'll hunt out some embossing folders. Oh, I did get a whole lot of new ones recently. I was just thinking I don't don't have many embossing folders, but I did get a huge lot off of um, Marketplace just recently. 
base would look good, especially if I ink them afterwards or something, but I don't know if I want to. Anyway, let's use them. Find my card. I haven't done much embossing and I have cracked my card stop doing it, so I'm tempted to actually spray it this time and see how it goes. Grab my water. I just want to see how that fits. That'll be all right. So I'm just going to give it a bit of a spray, just a light spray, before I put it in here. Sandwich. Actually, I don't even know if you meant to use. <laughs> I should read instructions before I do. I might go in like that, actually. Yeah, that feels better. I think. <laughs> That's a bit easy. Let's have a look. No, that worked. Beautiful. So that worked really nicely. I like that. Might not need an inking because that does stand out pretty good. Maybe we should do something different with the short one. We could do a partial embossing, say, of one edge and then do something on the other edge. I might do that just for something different. So again, I'll give it a little bit of a spray. And then I will put it so it lines up with about three rows. I told you I hadn't done much in Boston. <laughs> that looks really cool. All right, so I'll just put this away. Okay, so we've got our tags now, so I might corner around this in keeping with the rounded corners on our pocket. So that one's going to sit in like that. It's good because the embossing sort of peeps up over the top a bit, which is nice. So I'll have to find a topper for that. And then we've got this one, which is going to fit in down here. And I'm thinking of using some of my off cut just to run down the side like that, because I do like that. Chop it off up here. Fun to grab just some bit of junk like this and see what you can make out of it. Because I tend to hoard my nice stuff, which is ridiculous, because I've got a fair bit of it now. <laughs> and I always go for my junk. Bit by bit, I'll get comfortable with using my other bits and pieces. I like to incorporate the junk with the nice stuff. Just let that dry and then chop that top bit off. And then we'll decide whether we'll probably corner around the tops of that one as well. So that's looking pretty neat. Could do a tag topper with this, but it might be a bit of overkill. Or oh, just some of the black. Got some of the black here. folded though so I might just give that a bit of a score
do with that. All right, let's chop this little bit off. actually do all the four corners rounded for that one could be like a little journaling card a bit hard to write on the back but that's all right I kind of like the way it looks so I don't want to cover it so that would go in like that now if we had black up there what we do white on that one white on that one and black on that one or black on both I, mean, I feel like corner rounding these although I don't know if it will work got my four millimeter rounder which I sometimes struggle with seems to be working so far yes Kind of like that. Definitely needs to be black down there. All right, I'm going to put this on. That looks about even. Let that dry. I like that. Now, I do want to check my... I've got a whole lot of brads here and I don't use them very often, so it's good to use them up. Not these ones. I've got some black and white ones here. I've even got sparkles. So I've got these, these huge ones. They're a bit much. I have sparkle ones. And I have these ones, and I have white. Now I've got to do a tab up the top, so it might have to be black again. Sparkling ones. Mm, not sure. All right, might glue it on. And then we decide whether we want might sparkly or. I kind of like this big white one. Now I'm going to make a little hole for a thingamy diggy, which I might just do with my cropper dial. I think the small hole won't kill it. So about there. Hopefully that'll work. something from that as well. Kind of like it just as is. Now I'll turn that. And slip that in. Now, I can't really see this, can we? I'm 
could do another white one there. So again, I will do another hole. It's going to be off a bit, but that does not matter off the top of the tag. And a bit crooked, but oh, that does not matter. Well, it might actually when I spread the thing, so it might not. Let's see. I'm good, aren't I? Oh, no, that's not too bad. Good. I mean, if they turn it well, but I might be able to stick them down a bit so they don't turn. But that just makes it easier to see that that is the tab. It's quite abstract, isn't it? <laughs> but that's okay. Something a bit different. So now, dangles. So I was looking at beads and everything to dangle from my um, eyelet there, but I have decided instead to add a little tag hanging there, uh, a little word tag, I reckon. So I've grabbed out my Tim Holtz Ideology Small Talk. Now you get them in the black and white. White with black font or black with white font. So that'll go really nicely, I think. So I might do one of these. I think I like the created creativity takes courage. It's going to be long though. But that will be all right. So what I might do is use the white of this piece. Use up some of my scraps to cut a tag to fit that on. Um, might be best if I stick my little saying on and then I'll know how much I want to cut around it. So it is creativity takes courage. So I can just stick that about there. got so tired when I got to this stage I ended up going and have a snooze on the couch for three hours so there goes most of my day which is annoying but up now I think I'll be having a late night watching Netflix and Stan and trying to get a whole lot of cleaning up done. Thought I'd better come and finish this first because I've made a good start. So I might cut, oh I just remembered I wanted to put them now I'm going to have to do that again. <laughs> I'll show you why. I think I'll be able to lift this off. I can glue it back on if I... Well, it's still a bit sticky, but I might glue it back on. Silly me. I do want to put a hole up the top, so I need a bit more room. That's what happens when you're half asleep. Just debating whether I want to try and corner around. It'd be a bit iffy if I do, but I can check out the four millimeter. That sort of works. Doesn't it? Doesn't. Chop it off. That that doesn't matter too much. And I want to take this down a bit. just a tad more and I'll try corner rounding it's a bit little so it doesn't really work properly but that doesn't matter I think that'll do now I'll grab my crocodile to put a little hole in got a bulb pin. I have a whole lot of beads here because I was playing around with them before but I, I don't like them and they're going to be really bulky anyway so I liked this idea better. So I might put that through like that and then I can dangle that through. 
suppose that. And I've got a little word dangle there. I like that. That's nice. This is some of the card that I used to make it with. I could. These new ones that I bought. It's just wicked in here. Cut an oval and see what that looks like. Hmm. Doesn't really stand out, does it? Maybe I should try it with some black. Do I do have some black off cut? So I might just punch this out. So these were two finds on Marketplace as well, which I was wrapped about because they punches cost so much. So I'm always trying to get them off of Marketplace. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? It stands out a bit more. Oh, I've just got black now. It definitely looks better. Like that. All right, I'm going to layer these up. Don't know whether to layer that with some lights. Here we go again. Almost kind of like it on this. Almost. Maybe I'd cut around it. I might put on there, cut around it, and see what I think. Kind of like that. Sort of do need a word on there though, don't we? Don't know whether I've got one of these that I like on there. And then do we want it the white or the black? Make a wish, that would fit nicely. Be fearless. That goes with creativity, takes courage nicely, doesn't it? Let us have a look. You know, it needs some black behind it. Here we go again. That will do. Or else I'll be here forever. I'm not completely happy with it, but you know what? I did make it predominantly out of the um, uh, magazine mail thing. So to have it turn out like this isn't too bad considering what it began as. Now, it almost looks good off centre, doesn't it? Yeah, I might do it off centre. I might call that a wrap. I like it, it's very different. But there's my little pocket and tuck. I'll be able to stick it to a page and tuck behind it as well. We've got a little tag there and our little tag here. And then our tag dangle. 
So I hope you enjoyed that. I had fun making it. Just fun to grab something random and try and do something with it rather than have set ideas and then be disappointed when they don't work out. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.